All right, welcome to another installment of my Pragmatic Reef uh, 180 gallon videos. So the tank is now at two month mark. And uh, well, let's take a look at uh, what has changed and what is the overall status of the tank. <clears throat> so I have uh, installed an automatic uh, feeder on it. Uh, you can see it uh, at the top here. And uh, this one I really like. Uh, it's a little bit loud, uh, unfortunately, but other than that, uh, it's doing its job quite nicely. Um, so the, the aquascape has been uh, slowly improving, so I've uh, shifted some of the corals around and I've, uh, I really like how this plating mantipara um, uh, is now located. Uh, it's a nice uh, large coral. Um, in terms of fish, as you can see the tank is uh, quite full. I, I think I may have space for maybe one more uh, larger fish and then probably a school of antis and uh, this would be it in terms of the uh, fish. So the anemones are doing great. Here's the money shot right here. As you can see the corals uh, have been placed quite nicely and uh, slowly I think they're taking hold and they're definitely growing. They're growing a lot. Um, unfortunately, I cannot say the same things about the uh, colors, uh, the coral colors yet. So I'm definitely, I think there's a room for improvement here. But uh, well, let's uh, have a quick peek. So as you can see, I've got uh, a few uh, milliporas here. Um, Got a bird's nest in the back, so this is a new location for him. It's uh, kind of a green bird's nest. Not very green right now, unfortunately. Um, softies are doing quite well, and uh, this uh, acro is uh, the, the kind of a brown red one is certainly coming back. It used to be a very badly looking brown, and now it's uh, it's a nice. Um, you can see a bit of a red and I think it's going to be very red at some point and I'm especially fond of this uh, little acro here with a nice <clears throat> teal color so here's a mandarin right there um, and the rest of the corals are doing not bad there's definitely a lot of uh, polyp extension for on some of them but I think I can definitely do better so Let's take another look from here, and then, as promised, so these these corals are not doing very well at all. I hope uh, they'll improve, but so far they haven't. So let's take a look at uh, the equipment now, as I promised. So on the right here, there is a, a panel. Uh, it's with all the electrical. Uh, this is temporary. I hope to uh, improve upon this uh, at some point uh, when I'll have some t some free time. And uh, so here's the stand. So the stand has uh, access from all three sides. So you can see I have one door open and you can see the sun. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the um, at the left door first. So here I got. Um, my Kalkwasser uh, skimmer, uh, two reactors. Right now I've turned both of them off and in the back there is the uh, drain with the filter sock. I also have, as we can see right here, I also have the uh, dosing system right over here. And now let's take another look at uh, the other chamber. So this is where I got my live rock uh, in one chamber and uh, Cheeto, a nice bowl of Cheeto 
right here. Let's not drop the phone. Over here. So the water is teed off uh, from uh, the return pump and it goes over here. It's uh, currently flowing into this tank and then overflows into the chamber with uh, live rock and then it goes back to the return. So that pretty much concludes my video update for the second month. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to find out more about the tank, my water parameters, um, fish selection or any other information you can visit uh, you can find the tank on the site uh, on on the site called aquaticlog.com so once again it's going to be on the aquaticlog.com and uh, just search for pragmatic reef thank you for watching